And it's been taken quickly here by Kerr. Away to Marchant. Murley hits the gas. Big fed. Oh, oh yes! That is some finish! Murley had so much to do, he had no right scoring that. He's in incredible form at the moment, Caden Murley. How does he get on that angle with Freeman coming across, then the acrobatics? That's an outstanding finish. Hand off to the throat. Yeah, okay. Tiptoes down yeah. the line. Caden Murley, well, he's airborne at this point. How good. Conspiring in midfield. Kerr oh. slips, kicks beautifully. And here's Caden Murley. Murley scores. Oh, what on earth do you say about that? Even from situations of seemingly zero promise. Yeah, That's what they can do. Pass. Danny Kerr, a little slip, and then nothing wrong with that. Caden Murley steps back inside Harry Thacker, and then he's got the strength. flat as it can be, and Lord and Murley, a little step to put some doubt in the mind of Alex Good, and then the drive over the line. Quinns with a couple of early crackers. Yeah, all the yeah, it's a wonderful try, a really good response. Caden Murley's the beneficiary. Danny Kess looks at the short side but decides to go open. Loose prior pass behind Tyrone Green, but here's Oscar Beard. Beard for the corner. What a score. They'll go upstairs, but Harlequin's acrobatic early on here at Ashton Gate. My apologies, it is Murley. Back by Bristol, play on. Bristol have possession, another awkward ball, and Murley's on to it. Unbelievable. Caden Murley is going to get two tries inside four minutes. Yeah. And Ashton Gate, that is absolutely extraordinary. Yeah, that's rockstar stuff. Fastest brace in history, surely. It'll, it'll be boxed off as well, yeah. Unbelievable wheels again. <laughs> Through the tackle of Bigger. And now, space opening up, beautiful from Edwards. Burley again! The theme continues. That is sumptuous. I tell you what, that's a lovely piece of skill. A lovely delayed offload there. And it's a really, really nice Quinn score. Well, we're missing one pretty high profile man here this afternoon, aren't we, Lawrence and Marcus Smith? But Will Edwards is performing quite beautifully at the moment. Freeman over halfway. Cross comes oh, Jones and Murley oh, 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 got him. Well, that's a shocker. Right, no advantage, good that's competition for the shocker. ball. a shocker. You're thinking, right, turn the burners on, put a chip in, do something, change your line. But don't Time, do it at the last second. Holds on to it in midfield. Care Smith did well, did beautifully to get the ball away to Northmore. And then White, and now Green, and they're going to get another. And it might be Murley. Off he goes. Murley scores. Quinn's reminding us what they're all about. And we are rewinding to seasons of old. Townsend thinks he's got Smith. Smith just taking his feet away, controlling them, sweeping the ball through the hands, and then they pick off really, really okay, nicely the final defenders. And Hugo wanted a race between Murley and Noel. Murley facing the right way to start with, but definitely Noel got nowhere near him. There's a Quinn showed them how it's done in the line out. Esther Hayes and finding Nick David on riding that tackle beautifully. So much balance. Here goes Jones. Two men outside him. Out it goes to Murley. And that's how it's done. Clinical in every way. Clinical in exactly the sort of way that Bath were not. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic from Harlequins. Quinns with possession. Smith with the crossfield kick. Murley takes on Lloyd. Inside, That's Green, herring away to the line! They're irresistible at the moment. You just can't stop them. 
and such a narrow defensive line. Harlequins having an absolute field day. Well, a dominant scrum. Care to Smith to the left hand side is Green, and surely it'll be Murley stealing an extra few meters just to try and make that conversion that tiny bit easier. And Harlequins with two extra men finally making it count. There's still time, there's still plenty of time.